If you're a pick six player, you're going to need to get your perms or straight lines. I don't, do you know any people that take straight line pick sixes? No, I haven't taken I have, but they're not in, in a mental institution because <laughs> it's so hard to try and catch. But you can take a straight line pick six. Sometimes you never know if Lady Luck's on your side. But it uh, is the third race, the first leg of the pick six. Get your perms or straight lines on by 25 to 2, 13, 35. It's over 1,800 meters. And I found another value selection here. Well, as I said, we don't know what the betting is because it's quite early in the, in the, in the, in the day in the, in the racing program. But number nine, a thousand tunes, Graham, who's your first choice. Your numbers are nine, eight, two and five. I, I expect him to be fairly short in the betting. I would think, uh, I would think that number nine, a thousand tunes will be quite a firm favorite, has all the form, stepped up to the 1900 meters uh, last time out to run third to power to command. Uh, but I do respect the chances of number eight, all-time high, uh, has a number of places to its credit. Uh, again, this is not a very strong race, uh, but we're both expecting improvement from number two, Gazala Gallup. Yes, uh, just before we touch on Gazala Gallup, going back to all-time high, he's a good-looking son of a Shawis. He has disappointed me a bit. I thought he would have won by now. He's having his 14th bite of the cherry. You've got to respect him in this field. For me, he's more of a place chance than a winning one, but he's going to win soon. Uh, good-looking son of a shaw. He's talking about good-looking horses. Uh, Gazala Gallop is a colt by Karari. Beautiful, beautiful horse. Uh, he's out of a mare called Be My Buddy, bred by Jonathan Martin. Graham, when Lyle Hewitson rode this horse on debut, he was my pick of the parade ring. And I went across to Lyle and he said to me, lovely horse, lovely, lovely horse. His second run was okay. The reason why I'm going from in a big way for the places is the step up to the 1800 is what he needs. Well, that's key. Uh, he made his debut over 1,000 metres, second start over 1,200 metres, and now he leaps from 1,200 metres up to 1,800 metres. Frank Robinson obviously has given him the two pipe openers. He's fit and uh, he's ready to do his best. Whatever that may turn out to be, but we're both expecting number two, Gazala Gallup, to show some improvement here. Um, in an otherwise moderate lineup, because as you say, a thousand tunes stands out, all time high has got a little bit of form. The balance are really struggling to make an impression. Gazala Gallup should improve, and Master George has done enough in the past to suggest he could be a quartet inclusion. Okay, for uh, smaller players uh, with limited, limited budgets, which is like the most of us, uh, a thousand tunes possible, banker. Possible banker, absolutely. I haven't uh, gone that route, but, but definitely if you're looking to cut down the size of your permutations, he offers himself as a potential banker. Okay, that's the first leg of the pick six. Race four, up next.